Good morning everybody! Welcome to the Doris Creative Workshop. Today we are going to learn something about creativity and how to apply that knowledge right away. First of all, let's find out who is a creative person and who is not. We'll use a very simple way to do it. Answer this question. I've just won a million dollars. What would I do? Anyone who knows the answer to this question is creative. There is a dilemma whether creativity is a general or a special quality of people. Many view creativity as an integral part of the DNA with which everyone is born. Others view creativity as a lucky break, usually reserved for those who have a natural talent for creative expression like Shakespeare, Van Gogh, Da Vinci, Disney or Bill Gates. Half of the people believe to have creative skills, while the other half has doubts about it. Psychologists say, if you think you can, you can, and if you think you can't, you can't. The most important factor in creative thinking is a person's own belief in his creative ability. No one can expect from people to be creative if they haven't faith in their own values. You must first believe that you are. This is a matter of self-confidence. Most people are not aware of their creative abilities because they do not have much opportunity to show them off. If they get such a chance, when someone is expected to demonstrate their creativity, there is a syndrome fear of negative judgment called voice of judgment, which is a barrier to creativity. Creativity is often obvious in young children, but it may be harder to find in older children and adults because their creative potential has been suppressed by a society that encourages intellectual conformity. There is a widespread belief that school is killing creativity. While the kids before enter a school have unlimited imagination, later on becoming more closed in expressing their fantasies. The faithful innovator Walt Disney has made his guiding principle – dream, believe, dare, do. It's important to expand the boundaries and overcome the prejudice of what is possible and what is not. If you can dream it, you can do it. So first we must trust in ourselves in our creative capabilities. For the creativity is important to know that there are two hemispheres of the brain, the right brain and the left brain. Roger Sperry won the 1981 Nobel Prize for Medicine for his groundbreaking work in the area of brain dominance. To be creative, it is necessary to think with the right brain. However, the left brain is by far the dominant one and often excludes the other half from becoming actively involved in tasks and activities. To encourage the right side to take the lead role and exclude the left side for a while, the other half gets the chance to think in its own way. If you give yourself a task to come up with something unusual, for example the characters from the world of fantasy, the right brain has to undertake the work since there is neither a logical nor easily remembered way to achieve this, so the left brain becomes quite bored and having not a lot else to do, it effectively goes to sleep. After a few minutes, the natural ability for creative thought should noticeably improve. The answer to employment right hemisphere of the brain is the games. On one hand, a game is taken very seriously by the players, but at the same time the players remember that it is only a game. The game is relaxing and entertaining precisely because it relieves us from the weight of decision making in the real world and allows participants to remain creative. Motivation is another important factor in creativity. People have been found to do their best work when they do work they really love. Games are the most favorite activity for most people. Albert Einstein famously said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Why? The answer is simple. Knowledge is about the past and present time while imagination leads to the future. Imagination is a key driver for creativity. Without imagination, many things we are using on everyday basis, such as mobile phones or internet, wouldn't exist. Imagination makes it possible to get out of the closed circle of thoughts, out of the box. Imagination takes us into the future to unimagined discoveries that make life more beautiful, better and more interesting. Outstanding leaders are distinguished by their artistry to respond to new challenges in a new way, to resolve new tasks and mostly to be creative and innovative in this process. Only curious individuals come up with a new different solutions and ideas and without that 
Learning facts per se doesn't result in the spread of knowledge, which means there is no progress. The advice for the free expression of creativity is drop all prejudices, mental limitations, and fear of failure. Be yourself, believe in yourself, and follow your dreams. Be curious, brave, self-confident, and determined. Always one step ahead the others, and don't follow the routine. Think beyond the limits and persuade others in the value of your ideas. Only then you can expect to be a true leader. Thank you for your attention.